welcome to Puddle. Into this update, we're gonna do the extreme gold medal run on Laboratory. In order to get the gold medal on this difficulty, you're gonna have to take a little bit more your time on certain areas, especially the test tubes, which are pretty much a gamble to get through because they never really behave the same on any single two runs of this. But this long stretch right here, just rush through it. There is really nothing which is stopping you from doing so. But this part, however, will require you to stop because there is no way to make it through without stopping at all. As for the rest, just go whenever the time feels right. No, 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 no. You certainly aren't spilling yet, mister. You have an appointment with a fire starter and a fire extinguisher. It's okay to be nice, but sometimes being a little bit too nice doesn't get you results. You have to be slightly more firm, and there are times where you definitely have to be firm. That train certainly isn't going to wait for you. You better ride on it while you can. As for this section, whenever your liquid gets set on fire, just be patient. You'll have the option to put it off later. There's not really any kind of hurry to this one part, so just take it slow and sometime you'll be amazed to see that you can handy and make it through all of this without even setting your liquid on fire. Earlier, this timer was the source of many worries because our entire liquid was trapped down here in a blaze. But now, let's just take the time to relax. The big problem with this one level is the first section where you have to push a button. In the other video, you saw how hard it was to push all of these buttons around, and we're definitely gonna have to execute this one really, really well. Yeah, well, unfortunately we couldn't get everything here, but we don't need everything in order to finish this. The only thing that matters is that we didn't hit that upward laser. This one will kill you. To get to the second button, you need to launch your water all the way up vertically like this so that you'll have enough of a swing to hit the button right away without having to do any kind of backtracking. This way, you'll have enough leeway to get the gold medal without any kind of problem. As for this last button, you already know how to press it. Just tilt the screen whenever you're about to press it in order to launch your liquid all toward it. And don't worry if you leave any kind of liquid behind. Nobody is gonna have any kind of grudge against you because it'll manage to make its way all the way here, thanks to this conveniently placed trapdoor. As for this one part, just leave the moment that the flames arrive. If you take your swing forward in order to get through the flame infested section just as the fire was put out, you will be caught back by the fire without any kind of doubt. And here's the sound of this level being done.
there is absolutely no need to rush on this level. More so considering that rushing comes at the price of explosions. Okay, maybe this is not a price and this is more of a reward, but not in this game. Into this game, you want to take it slow. Even this little bit of liquid here is taking things too slow, but here we go, it managed to catch up. Essentially, you just hurry up into this one part, and you take your time everywhere else. That should be enough in order to get you a gold medal on this one level. that plays into this one level really reminds me of either Biosphere or Global Communications more ambient tracks. It's a pretty eerie song for this one level and I really like it. As for this one, there's no real tricks to hit on extreme difficulty. You just take your time and you will eventually succeed. The key to this level is to pretty much keep all of your liquid around. You're going to need it if you want a gold medal. Yeah, I know it's pretty much a repeat of the earlier video that I did, but it turns out that I've managed to do this one level on my first try, so I unfortunately didn't have any kind of footage where I failed or anything to include, so sorry for the repeat, guys. At least you'll be able to see that you can simply ignore all the laser together, but be careful, if your liquid explodes, your victory will be transformed in utter defeat. The safe way to do this level is to simply keep your glass on one side of the screen and then finally fill it up one half of one liquid, then you go to the other half in order to fill it with the other half of the liquid. But that's not gonna get you a gold medal. You have to swing all over the place if you want it. With the touch here glass control, it's definitely more tricky to do. But you'll pull through and you'll be able to drink your... Why the hell will you drink radioactivity? What is wrong with you? You're a moron. This is why I'm spilling your drink out of the stand so that you have to lick it on the floor, you useless piece of... Anyway, that's it for this update. Stay tuned for the next part of our journey, as we will see the journey of our radioactive material that has been drank. It's a fight against the microscopic and the macroscopic. In chapter 4, the human body.